ankle swelling, Bob. Now, there's a lot of reasons for ankle swelling. We're talking about it could be a severe ankle sprain where that ankle swells up like a watermelon. Right. Or a lot of times you just have that edema and the ankles will swell up from that uh, fluid that just builds up. These exercises and positions are going to help both situations. So hold on 9.4 seconds. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Okay, Bob, before we get into some of these conservative treatments that anybody can do, uh, you know, if you do have a swollen ankle from, say, a bad ankle sprain, you may want to use some ibuprofen or an NSAID. Uh, as long as and it, some ice. And some ice, exactly. As long as that doesn't interfere with other medications. Right. So check with your doctor, the nurse, or the pharmacist. Now, there are medications for edema people. People have chronic swelling from right. edema, and they're called diuretics or water yep. pills. Now, the thing about those, there are always side effects that the doctors are always aware of, but that can affect your kidneys and whatnot. Now, what we're going to show you, there are no side effects. Right. Just Anybody can do these. Exactly right. So that's what we're going to show because that's what we do, conservative treatment. Number one, simply lie down on your bed or on the floor and get some pillows. Now, I have two pillows under there. You can see it elevates his ankles and feet up. We want it above the heart level. Actually, I wouldn't mind going a little higher. A little higher, right. One or two more pillows might be beneficial. The other thing that works better, oops, I'm going to walk in front of the camera here. In front of Bob, sorry, Bob. Uh, you get one of these leg wedges. You don't need to get them. Pillows will work just fine. This does oh, work better. It this feels, feels better. Great. Now, when you're in this position, whether it's the pillows or a wedge, you need to do ankle pumps. The ankle pump exercises. So look at that. Bob is pumping away. So what happens is the muscles and the feet and the ankles contract, and that's the way the blood and the edema can get pumped back up right. with gravity down into the system. Right. There's one thing, particularly if this is lymphedema, that you want to do before the exercises, and this is the exercise we did this with Aaron, remember? That massage, right. you start on your thighs and you pull down. Yep, so it's go up as far as you can, Bob, and hands into the inside, this way a little bit, and pull down, and what that does is that opens up the lymph channels so that otherwise, there's like a dam there, and the fluid will not. You don't have to get, push that hard. No, you don't. As a matter of fact, you, you don't want to push, push it. Yep. And do about 10 to 20 of those, and then do 10 to 20 ankle pumps. And also, we can do what I call short arc quads. Yep. And just up and down. Think about strengthening that. You're getting some gravity. You're getting the quad muscles working with this. You've already done the ankle muscles. It's a complete system. It really works well with it, the wedge. Yeah, yeah, it's wonderful. Okay, we're going to go to number two. All right, in the seated position, the big thing you have going against you is you're seated, and gravity will pull fluid downwards. The knees are bent. Yeah, so. exactly. If you don't have a stool, uh, what you're going to do to help combat that gravity flow and that fluid is you can bring your legs out like this and again, ankle pumps. Ankle pumps. 10 to 20 of those, work them good and do them at least every 20 to 30 minutes. It's like when you're on an airplane. Yeah, get the ankle pumps, get the circulation and then these kicks or long arc quads and it gets things, and don't do them like this. Do them meaningfully and hold. Down, and see how Bob and I are synchronized like swimmers <laughs> or dancers? There we go. Yeah, you gotta be careful for your neighbor. That's a nice thing, but if you happen to have a stool, an ottoman, something you can put in front of you that's cushioned, if you're in a recliner, pull a footrest up. Right. Actually, with my mother who does have swollen feet, with a recliner, and she prefers a pillow underneath the recliner. Makes it more comfortable and elevates a little bit more. And there you go. And you can do ankle pops. Yep, read your book, watch TV, right. whatever it takes. But, like Bob said, you need to do your ankle pumps. Right. About 20 of them every half hour or even more often. And you still can do the quad. And actually here you can do some of the massage right. as well. Add that in. Yep, get that all the fluid Light. going this direction up into the system so your body can take care of it the way it needs Process. to. Process. 
All right, let's go to number three, Bob. This is a fun one. This is the big right. one. Everyone would appreciate this if it's available. Now, number three, this option is by far the easiest. It feels the best, but it's not available to everyone. Uh, but, you know, if you're thinking about getting an actual foot massager, this is the one we promote, and Bob uses this one every night, right? It's funny. It says Bob Brad on it. <laughs> well, that's because it's a good one. All right. So I love it. It's got different modes. It's got different inten intensities. Right. You can really work your feet. Now, the thing that makes this so good for the swelling, it not only massages your feet, but it has it a compression, compression right. and it helps push that fluid up. Uh, and what, how long do you use this for, 20 minutes? It, it runs fi uh, 15 minutes. So. And then it turns off. Right. Yep. And then I can do another 15 minutes. Yeah. So, yeah. And you do this every night? Most nights, Most, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it feels for, good. Yeah. And you're it's grateful. A, it's a treat. <laughs> yeah. They're not so bad in price, actually. But if it's something you're going to use long term, it would be, may, you know, maybe something you want to consider. Not for size 12 or more. Oh, uh, yeah. So if you've got those. Uh, mine are size 12. Yeah. If that's you're, fine. If you're one of those six and a half, you're, seven foot you're tall 13 people. 13 or 14. Yeah. Forget it. <laughs> Most people aren't. We're pretty safe. And the last thing that you can do for the ankle swelling is use a compressive garment or a compressive sock. I just, sock, yeah. I just happen to have one on here. I've got a regular sock, although it's got a skeleton in my skeleton socks. But yeah. th these are regular material. They do offer compression, but if you get an actual compression sock, the nice thing about them is, is they're going to compress a little more pressure around the foot and the ankle and less here, so it allows and promotes circulation, bringing that fluid upwards. They're the, radiated. Yep. Radiated. Yep. And, radiated. And they, they, uh, they'll tell you how many millimeters of mercury, which is the right. compression, usually like around 15 to 20 here, and then a five or 10 more pressure uh, millimeters of mercury up here up around here. the calf, right. so it yeah. moves forward. Uh, these are eye relief compression garments. We do like these, they work right. well. They actually have bamboo right. in there, which allows it to breathe more and absorb the it perspiration. Sweat, right. Yep, so they're a little more comfortable. And you can see these will come all the way up to the knee. Uh, some of them, they do make them that come just above the ankle, but you don't want those. You want to have the ones that come up to here right. for this kind of swelling. All the way through. So very good. That's what the uh, things that we offer, we promote, and uh, they're going to help you out with ankle swelling from foot to toe. No, toe to foot. Toe, toe to, to knee. Foot. Toe to <laughs> Whatever. Life. Yeah, we're, it's, we're been a, it's been a long day, right. so we've we got to take a break. Take care.